Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Nayak. Today we are going to take yet another set of examples for push down automata. But before we start, a small information. In this channel, we produce every video in two different languages. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates on this channel. So, let us start. So today's first example is construct a PDA that accept language of the form WCWR. It means it is the reversal of the string W on A, B, C plus. The string that is accepted by these languages will be in this form A, C, A, B, C, B, A, B, C, B, A. You can see here after the first string there is a C and then the strings reversal will be there. For example, you can see A, B, B, then C, then B, B, A. A, B, B's reversal is B, B, A. Let us say its observation. The first symbol will be either A or B. And after first A or B, we can have any number of A's or B's. After having any number of A's or B's, we will be having C. And after C, again we will be having a string that is of the form A or B. Now let us see the requirements. For every A or B that will be appearing for the string W, we are going to push it onto the stack. When C will appear, we are not going to do anything. And after that, for every B or A that is appearing, we will be popping if it is matching the stack. And when all the B or A will be popped out, the string will be getting accepted. Let us see. The example. The string that we have taken is A, B, B, C, B, B, A. You already know why to use this epsilon at the beginning and epsilon at the end. So when the first epsilon appeared, it means we are at state Q0 and we are going to state Q1 and the leveled arc will contain epsilon, comma, epsilon, arrow Z0. It means the transition is we are at state Q0 Input symbol is epsilon and stack symbol is also epsilon. So we will be going to state Q1 and we are going to push Z0 onto the stack. So we will be having Z0 at the stack. The next input symbol is A. So here we are at state Q1. The input symbol is A and Z0 is at the top of the stack. So what we are going to do? We are going to pop Z0 and push the same Z0 and after that we are going to push the input symbol A onto the stack. So the transition will be like this. Delta of Q1 AZ0 equal to Q1 AZ0. After the transition also will be there in the same state. It may happen that instead of A, we will be having B. We are going to push BZ0 onto the stack. It means either the first symbol can be A or B. But the top of the stack is Z0. So what we are going to do, we are going to push AZ0 or BZ0 depending on the symbol that is appearing at the first place. The next input symbol is B. Now we are in state Q1. The top of the stack contains A and input symbol is B. So what we are going to do, we are going to push BA onto the stack. It means we are going to pop A from the stack, push the same A and after that again we are going to push the input symbol B. So our top of the stack will contain B. The next input symbol is one more B. We are in state Q1 and input symbol is B, stack symbol is B. So we are going to push B B and we will be still there in state Q1. So we are going to pop B, push the same B which is there on the stack and push the input symbol B onto the stack. So this is how we are going to do. So the different option that we can have and will still be in state Q1 is this. The input symbol is A, stack symbol is A, we are pushing A A. The input symbol is A, stack symbol is B, we are going to push B A. The input symbol is B, stack symbol is B, we are going to push B B. The input symbol is B, the stack symbol is A. 
we are going to push BA onto the stack. I hope you understood all this. Now we are going to push all the strings which belongs to W. And whenever C will appear, then we need to change our state. Till now, we are having A, B, B on our stack and B at the top of the stack. Now the input symbol is C. So what we are going to do? We are going to push B only onto the stack. It means we will be popping the B which is there in the stack and again pushing the same B onto the stack. We are not going to change the state of the stack. So it may happen whenever C will appear at that time A may be at the top of the stack. So this part will come into picture. So C comma A arrow A. It means whatever is there in the stack symbol, we are going to put the same symbol onto the stack. It means we are going to make the state unchanged. The next input symbol is B. We may have A here also. So if we are going to have B at the input symbol and B at the top of the stack, we are going to pop the top of the stack. So after the execution, the top of the stack which was B is popped out. The similar thing may happen here also. The top of the stack may contain A. The input symbol may also here be A. So whenever it will be matching, we are going to pop it out. Now the next input symbol is one more B. B is at the top of the stack and B is the input symbol. And it is matching. So that's why we are going to pop the stack. So the B which is there at the top of the stack, we are going to pop it out. The next input symbol is one more A and you can see the input symbol A and top of the stack A. It is matching. That's why we are going to pop it off and will be there in state Q3 only. Now in the input string we are having epsilon and Z0 is at the top of the stack. We are going to pop Z0 and can go to the state Q4. Now you can see epsilon is there at the input string and epsilon is there at the top of the stack. So you can say that the string is accepted by this pushdown automator. I hope you understood it. Let us modify this a little bit. Now the string that we are taking is WWR where W belongs to AB plus. So the strings will be AA, BB, AB, BA like this. Let us say AB, BB, A is a string. Here you can see A or B can be the starting symbol and any number of A and B may appear which will be belongs to the string W. And after that we will be having WR. But in order to separate which part is W and which part is WR, we are going to use one more symbol that is epsilon in between them. So instead of having the previous string, we will be having A, B, B, epsilon, B, B, A. Now the same thing we are going to do for every A, B appear for W we are going to push it. For epsilon we need not do anything and whenever B or A that is appearing and which is matching with the top of the stack we are going to pop it off. And when all the symbols in the stacks are empty we have popped out everything we can say the string is accepted. Let us see. Now when epsilon appeared we will be going from state Q0 to Q1 and we will be having Z0 at the stack. Now the next symbol is A. So when A will be appearing, we will be in state Q1 and we will be writing AZ0 arrow AZ0. It means we will be at state Q1 and we will be there in the state Q1 but the input symbol is A and the stack symbol is Z0. So we are going to push the input symbol A onto the stack. So it may happen that instead of A we can have B also. So whenever we'll be having B, we'll be writing like this, as we have seen in the earlier example. Now the next input symbol is B and A is at the top of the stack. So what we are going to do, we'll be there in the same state. B is the input symbol, A is the stack symbol. So we are going to push B A onto the stack. It may happen that instead of that, we'll be having many number of A's or B's. So we are going to write it in this way. The next input symbol is one more B and the top of the stack is again a B. So we are going to push B B onto the stack. As usual we are going to do this. So at the end we are going to write 
these statements for state Q1. We have already explained it for the previous example. Now the next input symbol is epsilon. And when epsilon comes, we are there in state Q1, we'll be going to state Q2. And the stack symbol may be either A or B. So whatever may be there on the top of the stack, we are going to keep it as it is. We'll simply go to state Q2. So in this case, B was there at the top of the stack. So we are going to put B at the top of the stack only. The next input symbol is a B. So B is the input symbol and B is at the top of the stack. So these two matches, that's why we are going to pop it out. So we are going to pop the stack. The next input symbol is B and the top of the stack is B. Both of them are matching. So we are going to pop the top of the stack. The next input symbol is again A and the top of the stack is again A. So it is matching. We are going to pop the top of the stack. The next input symbol is epsilon and top of the stack contains Z0. So we are going to pop Z0 and we are going to go to Q4 which is the final state. Now you can see nothing is there is the input symbol and nothing is there in the stack. So we can say the string is accepted by this particular push down automaton. I hope you understood this example also. If you understood give me a like and share among your friends. In our next video we are going to talk about some other aspects of push down automaton. See you then take care. Bye.